Could Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes get a surprise pole position? Would Ferrari and Vettel be able to deliver? And did Red Bull have anything to challenge for pole? Find out in this video. Once the night came, it was time for qualifying in Singapore. And the grid would certainly be a surprising one, as Lewis Hamilton went on to take pole position. Hamilton's on pole from Verstappen 2nd, Vettel 3rd, Bottas 4th and Kimi Raikkonen in 5th. Then it's Ricardo P6, Perez P7, Grosjean P8, Ocon P9 and Hülkenberg in 10th. Knocked out in QT was Fernando Alonso, Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Marcus Ericsson and Pierre Gasly. With Magnussen, Hartley, Van Dorn, Sorokin and Stroll going out in Q1. But first let's see how the top teams did in qualifying. This result for Mercedes was definitely not expected. Singapore normally is a track that really does not suit the Mercedes car. For example, last year in the drying qualifying, they qualified in 5th and 6th. But this year, at least with Lewis Hamilton, produced a stunning performance. As Hamilton got pole, with what has to be one of the best laps in his entire career. Finishing up miles clear of the rest of the field, such as Max Verstappen and Sebastian Vettel. That pole lap could be the lap to win his 5th world title. And this pole position just makes that title even more likely. What a lap from Lewis. And to be honest, Valtteri wasn't too bad either. Now yes, he was nowhere near his teammate in terms of pace, but still did well to qualify in P4. And be ahead of fast cars such as Kimi Raikkonen and Daniel Ricciardo. For me, quite an underrated qualifying performance from Bottas. But if Mercedes can maintain this for the Grand Prix, they are going to be extremely happy. And if Hamilton wins, he takes a massive step towards his fifth world title. This was quite a familiar day for Ferrari. Having all the promise in the world and then not delivering on it when it mattered. That's just what Ferrari and Sebastian Vettel do. They do not deliver when it matters. As Sebastian Vettel only qualified in 3rd and Kimi Raikkonen was only in 5th. And Vettel even said that qualifying was messy from him. That's just not going to cut it I'm afraid. If he wants to win the title he had to get pole position. Pole at Singapore is so important. Because of how hard it is to overtake at this track. And now has two very fast guys to pass if he's going to win the race. Once again Vettel is creating his own issues. And to be honest, Kimi was poor as well, as he also failed to deliver in Q3 when it mattered. But at least with Kimi, we've seen this plenty of times in the last few years. So it's not exactly a surprise. It is a monumentally massive day for Ferrari tomorrow. They have to get some kind of positive result. Red Bull's qualifying turned out to be a lot better than I expected with Max Verstappen in P2 and Daniel Ricciardo in P6. And I have to say with Max, he was very, very good. And I feel as though his performance in qualifying has gone under the radar. To out-qualify the Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel by as much as he did is very, very impressive. And it just shows how fast that Max is when it comes to qualifying. He is one of the fastest on the grid. Daniel Ricciardo, though, had a disappointing end to qualifying only qualifying 6th when his teammate was up in P2. And in Q1 and Q2 it was looking very good for Ricardo, But then suddenly for no reason had no pace in Q3. But at least these two drivers have a very fast race car for tomorrow. And they really are contenders for victory. Now though let's look at how the midfield teams did in Singapore. Considering the pace that Fernando Alonso had in practice this was disappointing from McLaren ending up in P11 and P18, and I'm sure there was more pace in the McLaren of Alonso, because again in practice he was very quick, but as we know sometimes qualifying is not the best part of Fernando's game, he does tend to come alive for the races, and in no way would I be surprised if he got some points. Van Dorn though again is still massively struggling, which is exactly why Van Dorn is not going to be at McLaren for 2019. But certainly for tomorrow, McLaren do have a good chance of points. Considering Renault's pace in practice today wasn't really good enough. With Hülkenberg in 10th and Carlos Sainz only in P12. 
Carlos Sainz though said that the reason he struggled was because of the tyres. And maybe that was also the same issue for Nico Hülkenberg. Because honestly, Renault should be up in P7 and P8, not 10th and 12th. Hopefully they get the tyres working for the Grand Prix. The upgrades that Force India have brought to Singapore have massively paid off. With both drivers qualifying inside the top 10. Very impressive considering yesterday in practice they weren't that quick. And that their record at Singapore is not that great. And with the way that Force India are currently making progress, they might be able to catch Renault and Haas. Ever since Spa, they have had the best car in the midfield. And if they can continue that going into the rest of 2018, it could be a great end to a hard season. Hopefully tomorrow they pick up some more points. By absolutely no surprise at all, Williams qualified on the back row. What else do you want me to say? Toro Rosso's quiet weekend continued, finishing in quite an unspectacular 15th and 17th. Their poor pace from Friday has carried right through to Saturday, and to be honest I still do not get why they have been so slow. But I guess both drivers are just not finding the balance, and this is probably going to lead to a forgettable race. I'd say for Haas that qualifying was decent. It was good from Roman Grosjean's point of view qualifying in P8. You cannot doubt that since the French Grand Prix he has been right on it. And right now is definitely the faster of the two Haas drivers. Kevin Magnussen though was only in P16. As he was not even out on the track at the end of Q1. Thus leading to him being eliminated. But let's face it K-Mag was not really that quick. As he could not get inside the top 10 in practice like his teammate could. But Haas with Roman Grosjean should be scoring some decent points. They have to close down Renault in tomorrow's race. Qualifying for Sauber was slightly better than I expected. Finishing with both cars in 13th and 14th. But realistically that was the absolute best that both those drivers could do. This type of circuit just does not suit the Sauber. They'll be praying for chaos ahead if they're going to score any points. And close down Toro Rosso for 8th in the Constructors. But guys this is what I'm doing tomorrow on the channel. At 10 past 12 UK time, I'm going to be going live for the race watch along. And then live again at 4pm for the race reaction. I hope that all of you can join me tomorrow. But that's it for qualifying here in Singapore. With a very interesting top 6. And I'm sure it's going to make for an intriguing race tomorrow. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys to join my Discord server, there's a link below down in the description, also with my Twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what did you think of qualifying in Singapore. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD. goodbye.